E Company, 2nd Battalion of the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division, the Screaming Eagles, is a company in the United States Army. The experiences of its members during World War II are the subject of the HBO miniseries Band of Brothers based on the book of the same name by historian Stephen Ambrose. History The 506th PIR was an experimental airborne regiment created in 1942 at Camp Tacoa, Georgia. E Company missions were to involve being parachuted from C 47 transport airplanes into hostile territory. Major Richard Winters described the original organization of E Company as follows. Easy Company included three rifle platoons and a headquarters section. Each platoon contained three 12-man rifle squads and a six-man mortar team squad. Easy also had one machine gun attached to each of its rifle squads, and a 60 mm mortar in each mortar team. Before attending paratrooper training, the unit had to perform the standard battle drills and physical training that comes with being in the parachute infantry. One of the exercises was the regular running of Kurahi, a large, steep hill. The phrase, three miles up, three miles down, was derived from this run. E Company, while training at Tokoa, was under the command of Herbert Sobel, who was known for his extreme strictness. Also as part of their physical training, the members of E Company performed formation runs in three four-column running groups. This innovative type of training was adopted by the Army in the 1960s. <laughs> <laughs> Missions Operation Overlord D -Day. For Operation Overlord, E Company's mission was to capture the entrances to and clear any obstacles around Causeway 2, a pre-selected route off Utah Beach for the Allied forces landing from the sea a few hours later. The company departed from a pottery airbase in Devon, England, and dropped over the Cotentin Peninsula of Normandy, France in the early hours of the morning of 6 June 1944. After assembling on the ground, the men of E Company disabled a battery of four German heavy guns on D-Day that threatened forces coming along Causeway 2. A town in France called Corentin was crucial for American soldiers to capture because it would link Omaha and Utah beaches together so the soldiers could move equipment through. The Germans knew that so they wanted to keep the town out of Allied hands. In one of Donald Malarkey's articles he stated that Lt. Winters made him mortar sergeant of 2nd platoon. E Company, along with Dog and Fox Companies, were walking down the road to Corentin when they came to an intersection and one or two German machine gun teams began firing on them. Mortars and tanks soon joined the fight. The American soldiers all jumped into ditches for cover. Winters saw this and as Malarkey states, Winters, got hotter than I've ever seen him. It was a fast attack, at the end of which Malarkey states that he could hear moans and groans of wounded soldiers and occasional gun shots. Also at the end of the battle Winters was slightly wounded in his lower right leg by a ricocheting bullet fragment. The Germans mounted a counterattack, but 2nd Battalion held onto Corentin. By the time the company was pulled off the line, they had taken 65 casualties including 22 killed in action, 17 of which including their commanding officer and first sergeant, who were killed on D-Day when their plane was shot down. <laughs> Eindhoven, the Netherlands 
E Company was assigned to support the British forces around Eindhoven, by defending the roads and bridges, so that the British armoured divisions could advance into Arnhem and force a crossing over the major bridge across the Rhine River in September 1944. E Company landed on its designated drop zone in the Sanche Forest, northwest of Sun and marched down the road into Sun behind the 2nd Battalion's other two companies. When the 2nd Battalion reached the Sun Bridge they were met by enemy harassing fire whilst the bridge was destroyed by the Germans. After the regiment's engineers constructed a makeshift crossing, E and the rest of the 506th moved out for Eindhoven. These events were omitted from the Band of Brothers series, with E having been portrayed as landing in the Netherlands and then marching into Eindhoven to join up with the British Army advancing from the south. On 19 September, the company departed for Helmand accompanied by six Cromwell tanks of the British 11th Armoured Division. Their advance was halted by the German 107th Panzer Brigade outside Noonan and they were forced to retreat to Tongelra. During the days following the link-up, E Company successfully defended the towns of Vegel and Uden until 30th Corps infantry took up the task of defending the area. As Market Garden progressed, the company and the rest of the 101st joined the 82nd Airborne on the island, north of Nijmegen. At the conclusion of Market Garden, the company relieved the British 43rd Wessex Infantry Division in Zetten. On 5 October 1944, 1st Platoon fought in the Battle of the Island, that lay between the Lower Rhine and the Wall River. Along with a platoon from Fox Company and support from the Royal Artillery, they routed two Waffen SS companies on 5 October 1944. Colonel Sink issued a general order citing the company's first platoon for gallantry in action, describing their attack a daring act and skillful maneuver against a numerically superior force. E Company was involved in the rescue of over 100 British troops trapped outside Arnhem. Operation Pegasus was a military operation carried out on the Lower Rhine near the village of Rankum, close to Arnhem in the Netherlands. Overnight on 22-23 October 1944, the Allies evacuated a large group of men trapped in German-occupied territory who had been in hiding since the Battle of Arnhem. On the south bank of a Dutch river, Canadian engineers and a patrol of E Company observed the signal and immediately launched their boats, but the British were some 500 to 800 metres upriver of the crossing point. Upon reaching the north bank E Company established a small perimeter while men headed east to locate the evaders. The men quickly moved downstream and in the next 90 minutes all of them were evacuated, with the exception of a Russian who was captured by the Germans. The Germans opened fire sporadically and some mortar rounds fell near the crossing, but the fire was inaccurate. Once on the other side the escapees were led to a farmhouse for refreshments, before being driven to Nijmegen where Doby had arranged a party and champagne. The men were later flown back to the UK, rejoining the men who had escaped in Operation Berlin. Nine members of E Company were killed in action in Holland with at least 40 wounded. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of the Bulge During December 1944 and January 1945, E Company and the rest of the 101st Airborne Division fought in Belgium in the Battle of the Bulge. The 101st was in France in December when the Germans launched their offensive in the Ardennes. They were told to hold the vital crossroads at Bastogne and were soon encircled by the Germans. E Company fought in cold weather under German artillery fire without winter clothing and with limited rations and ammunition. Between the days of 1 to the 13th of January, the company took control of the Bois Jacques Woods in Belgium. Between the town of Foy and Bizerie, E Company was assigned to capture the town of Foy. Division headquarters ordered the attack to begin at 0900 hours. 
During the assault, newly appointed Company Commander Lt. Norman Dyke led E Company forward, then ordered 1st Platoon led by Lt. Jack Foley to the left and lost contact with them. Dyke ordered the remainder of the company to take cover after coming under fire. With the unit unable to proceed, he was informed by his subordinates that they would get killed if they didn't advance into the town, as they were now unprotected from enemy fire. At the same time, Captain Richard Winters, former company commander and now battalion executive officer, radioed to Dyke, telling him the same thing. Dyke ordered 1st Platoon on a flanking mission around the town, and then found cover and froze, ignoring Winters' orders. As Carwood Lipton, 1st Sergeant at the time, later put it, he fell apart. According to Clancy Lyle, Dyke stopped because he had been wounded in the right shoulder which Lyle saw, not because he had panicked. In either case, Dyke was immediately relieved by 1st Lieutenant Ronald Spears under orders from Captain Winters. To countermand Dyke's previous orders, Spears himself ran through the town and German lines as 1st Platoon had no radio, linked up with the item company soldiers and relayed the order. Having completed this, he then ran back through the German-occupied town. Carwood Lipton later stated that, "...the Germans were so shocked at seeing an American soldier running through their lines, they forgot to shoot." Spears was reassigned as commanding officer of E Company and remained in that position for the rest of the war. With the capture of Foy, the Allies defeated the German line in Bastogne. Afterward, E Company and the rest of the 506th PIR moved into Germany. The 101st Airborne Division was awarded a unit citation for holding the line at Bastogne. E Company suffered 82 casualties, including 15 killed in action. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Occupation duties. Toward the end of the war, E Company was assigned to occupation duty in Germany, specifically to Berchtesgaden, which was home to Adolf Hitler's famous Eagle's Nest. Following Berchtesgaden, the company moved into Austria for further occupation duty. The company mostly attended to various patrols, awaiting the end of the war. Post war E Company and the rest of the 506th PIR was disbanded in November 1945 and reactivated in 1954 as a training unit. Under the Combat Arms Regimental System and U.S. Army Regimental System, the lineage of E Company is inactive. Notable personnel 140 men formed the original E Company in Camp Tacoa, Georgia. 366 men are listed as having belonged to the company by the war's end, due to transfers and replacements. 49 men of E Company were killed in action. <laughs> Senior officers Major General Maxwell D. Taylor, 101st Airborne Division CO, the 26th of August 1901 to the 19th of April 1987. Brigadier General Anthony C. McAuliffe, 101st Airborne Division Artillery Officer, later acting 101st Airborne Division CO, the 2nd of July 1898 to the 11th of August 1975. Colonel Robert Frederick Sink, 506th Regiment CO, the 3rd of April 1905 to the 13th of December 1965. Major Richard D. Winters, 2nd Battalion XO, later Permanent 2nd Battalion CO, the 21st of January 1918 to the 2nd of January 2011. Topic Company commanders 
Captain Herbert M. Sobel, the 26th of January 1912 to the 30th of September 1987. Major Richard D. Winters, the 21st of January 1918 to the 2nd of January 2011. First Lieutenant Frederick Theodore Moose Haliger, the 23rd of June 1916 to the 3rd of November 2001. Captain Ronald Spears, the 20th of April 1920 to the 11th of April 2007. Topic: Junior Officers. Captain Lewis Nixon, the 30th of September 1918 to the 11th of January 1995. First Lieutenant Lynn Compton, the 31st of December 1921 to the 25th of February 2012. First Lieutenant Edward D. Shames, B, the 13th of June 1922. Second Lieutenant Robert B. Brewer, 1924 to 5 December 1996. Second Lieutenant Carwood Lipton, the 30th of January 1920 to the 16th of December 2001. Topic: Non-commissioned officers. In order of rank, then alphabetically by last name. Technical Sergeant Donald Malarkey, the 30th of July 1921 to the 30th of September 2017. Staff Sergeant William Garneri, the 28th of April 1923 to the 8th of March 2014, served as a platoon leader as staff sergeant before demotion. Staff Sergeant Darrell Powers, the 13th of March 1923 to the 17th of June 2009. Sergeant Clancy Lyle, the 14th of October 1925 to the 19th of March 2012. Sergeant Robert Wynn, the 10th of July 1921 to the 18th of March 2000. Corporal Walter Gordon, the 15th of April 1920 to the 19th of April 1997. Topic: Enlisted men. Private First Class Edward Heffron, the 16th of May 1923 to the 1st of December 2013. Private First Class Edward Tipper, the 3rd of August 1921 to the 1st of February 2017. Private First Class David Kenyon Webster, the 2nd of June 1922 to the 9th of September 1961. Private Albert Blythe, the 25th of June 1923 to the 17th of December 1967. See also Braycourt Manor Assault We Who Are Alive and Remain, Untold Stories from the Band of Brothers